technical difficulty. Sorry about that. What I was saying is that the scraper that comes with the Tebow Tornado is about the worst thing ever. Oh, look at that. That's my box of filament. A full spool of natural. Oh, good. I didn't have any natural on hand. So, I guess this is, presume it's the Wan Hal filament, which is probably who Mono Price. Mm. The box looks similar. Let's see what the spool looks like. Bag's different. Mono Price doesn't use that kind of bag. But they do use that similar spool, not exactly. So now it looks like they're not made the same place, but that's okay. So good, I didn't have any natural. I wanted to make some bins out of natural. Now I have it. Cool. Whoops. Okay, what else do we got here? Now we got a spare bed mat. Fair mono price bed mat. Looks to be the exact same size bed mat as the uh, Maker Select V2. I'm not sure, but it sure looks like it. There's our accessory box. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> yeah, the same cheesy spool holder that comes with the V2. See how short it is? It'll, it'll barely do some 500 gram uh, spools of filament. Hence why I printed this setup that's much larger and uses bearings. I just have to get a nut to put it together or a bolt and a nut at the hardware store to be able to finish putting it together. Power cord. USB, extra Bowden tube, little rubber, supposed rubber feet for the bottom. Nice scraper, tools, zip ties. Mono price branded SD card. So, a USB to SD reader, that's nice, just in case you don't have it. I have it, but it's nice that they did it. Ah, the knob that has to be put on for the control box. And a decent quality scraper with a properly sharpened tip. So, again, I almost opened the box just to get my hands on the scraper. Okay. Now, I wonder if the Mono Price has lights. I've seen a bunch of people with lights, and I'm interested to see. If not, it looks like it's only $8 to order the light. Uh, light kit from Wanhow. So, I may be doing that. looks like the last piece of packing restraining type material so after this I should be able to get it over on the desk finish the assembly hmm okay I'm gonna pause again and move it over all right so set it up, I already prepped the Octopi with Octoprint for this device. I have everything set up, all the plugins installed, the Octopi is networked. All I need to do is plug the USB cable in, power the printer up, do my adjustments, and I'll be able to control everything via Octoprint as I do with the Tornado. I like the form factor. It's pretty small, I must say. Um, it, it looks bigger in all the ads. <laughs> Everybody makes it look like a bigger printer than it is. So I like the fact that it doesn't take up a lot of room. 
Uh, Long-term plan for this printer is to likely get the top and sides a uh, all-metal hot end for it. I'll probably keep the extruder the same, sure to maybe change in the uh, extruder feed uh, gear to one from the Duplicator 4, which you also do with the i3 version of the Duplicator. Um, in fact, I already have that ordered. And other than that, this will probably be my hot material, PETG ABS printer. Uh, this guy, I don't know for now. He's capable of printing other things, but I have so many things I want to print, at least for now, in PLA and PLA Plus that he's just running all the time doing that. So, pretty certain the Ender will be nothing but a, or Ender 2 will be nothing but a PLA Plus printer also. Okay, I'm going to conclude part two of this video. Part one, we got cut off because we had a technical problem. Part two, I'm going to conclude for right now, set up a different camera on a tripod so that I can work on the printer a little bit and actually have my hands free, uh, which is what I probably should have done in advance, and I apologize. So bear with me. Um, we will uh, get that going. I'll be back and get the next part posted and re or recording shortly and get them posted. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I hope, hope this helps anybody here. Thanks.